Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, Princeton Trader here from Mr. Top Step with your Monday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, hope everybody had a good weekend. We're looking at a daily chart of the ES. And, you know, the last three days, you know, just, just the big picture. 1340 quarter, we get on the Rose Garden lawn there, we say everything that, that, that is right, all the congressional leadership about the fiscal cliff. And we start this by the rumor. And we had this kind of gap of of political stupid that I've I've kind of coined this where um you know we had this big dip down when the deal was kind of gonna fall apart and the market kind of punished everybody, including Washington, and then we jumped back up and we continued on with the um with with this kind of buy the rumor deal that we have been doing since thirteen forty quarter. So what we've seen now is this lower Bollinger Band punch down to the 200 day exponential moving average and people talk to me why do you use the 200 day exponential why don't you use the 200 day simple why don't you this that or the other thing and my response is the same because it works and it worked again it worked right here 200 day exponential bounce confirm and and we go uh, we still have this gap to deal with and we have been above the upper band for portions of the last three days so what am I looking for now? Let me tighten up a little bit here on the daily. What I'm looking for here, uh, I think that we are we are in need of a pullback. I think we have extended ourselves up above that upper Bollinger Band, and you guys know I like to uh, sell into that kind of strength and buy the weakness uh, when these Bollinger Bands do things. Um, it's something that I learned from from UB in the top step room, and it's and it translated well over there. And it's frankly a very low risk way to swing trade. Um, you know, on a day to day basis, we do what we do with the volatility levels and things like that. But for our purposes here, you know, I'd like to look at a little longer term time frame. And with us punching uh, the bands times three days, you need to start thinking about uh, building a short position if you aren't short already. Uh, the the bulls did take out the prior day's highs on Friday. What you're looking for, if you're looking for a reversal, is you're waiting to see which day the low of the day takes out the prior day low. When that happens, so you're looking today, you want to see if we can take out 51 quarter today. Doesn't mean we have to close below there, but you just want to see that price can get below that prior day's low. Didn't do it here. They needed to break 50 on Friday. Couldn't do it. Did 51 quarter. So that's kind of, you know, that's when the chart starts to look a little toppy. That's when you start getting that rounded top action. And, uh, you know, my, my target on this trade continues to be the middle Bollinger Band. Uh, so that's what I'm looking at today. As far as the pivot points go, you've got the daily pivot, 1458. Three-day pivot sitting at 1453.67. You got double pivots way down on 35. And the 45-day pivot sits down at 1421. So... Um, everybody have a fantastic day Mike Vaki, Princeton Trader from Mr. Top Step I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast Trade them well everybody